Welcome back aliens, this is Narvin Reddy from Telisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about activity life cycle. So once we have discussed about what is Android, we have discussed about uh, how to set up Android Studio, now it's time to focus on something else activities now. So if you talk about activities, so we have uh, different, you know, whenever you use an activity, so what is activity here? It's a page, right? It's a form. So whenever you open, let's say you're using WhatsApp, let's say you're using Facebook app. So every time you open your WhatsApp chat, so you're, you're starting a new activity. So let's say your, your contact list is one activity. When you go into one particular contact, when you talk about one particular thread, that is one activity, right? Whenever you click on any button and it will, when it calls a new activity, certain steps happens, right? So the first thing it does is it calls this method, which is on create. So basically we have this methods, we have, uh, we have lots of methods. Uh, this is very important. This where methods are important here. So we have on create, we have on start, we have on resume, on pause, on stop, on destroy, and then we have on restart. So what happens when you start an activity? What happens when you, uh, when you minimize the activity? What happens when you close the activity? And what happens when you open the activity after pausing it or after minimizing it? Okay, so these are, these are the steps which happen. So let's start the first one. Uh, you know, when you start the activity, before starting the activity, your activity is not dead inside RAM, right? So as soon as you start the activity, it will call those three methods. The first method it will call is on create because you are creating the activity. So once your activity is created, it will call on start because now we have to start the activity. And then once you start the activity, you have to call, it will call on resume. So this methods on create, on start and on resume will, will, be, will call one, one by one. So it will be on create, on start and re, on resume back to back. Okay, there will not be any, you know, you don't, you don't have to do anything as a user. It will call those methods automatically. So it will be first on create then on start and then on resume after that so let's say you're using your activity you're very happy and suddenly you got you you, you want to message your friend something or you want to uh, take a pic picture so what you will do you will minimize the app right and what we do we press the home button right so as soon as you press the home button you're not closing the app you are minimizing the app right so that means your app your activity is still in there your uh, memory right so for that it will call two methods so it will call on pause and it will call on stop again one after the other so first it will call on pause because you want to minimize the activity so it will not directly stop it first it will pause the activity the process which are going on it will pause the activities and then it will call on stop okay so once again as soon as you start the activity it will call on create on start on resume and when you minimize the activity when you press that home button it will call on on pause and on stop okay now let's say you're, you're done with your work you have taken the pick now you want to go back to the activity which you are which you are using so at that time as soon as you go back it will call so from on stop it will call on restart method okay in this restart your activity again will again go back to the uh, main screen but before that as soon as you say on start we have to again say start and then we have to say resume okay we don't have to go to on create once again because your activity is there or was there in the memory okay so you don't have to say on create or one more time so when you resume your app by pressing again the home button we can say recent apps there and once you click on the button it will go to restart on restart then it will call on start then it will be on resume so again you're using activity here so this is the place where you use all your activities right so you're you're using your activity here and now again you when you pause so again you when you minimize again pause stop and then when you reopen it it will, it will go to restart now let's say you want to go back you want to close your app so what do we do we go back 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 so there are there are people there are people they don't believe in going back they minimize the app right they think they have 2 gb of ram it's very good number right so don't they don't close their app they minimize the app but there are some people they are good people who minimize the app so what they will do they, oh, sorry, they will close the app so what they will do they will close the app right so they, they will go back and when you go back it will again call on pause on stop and on destroy so our main intention here was to destroy the activity but before that you have to stop the activity and before that you have to pause the activity okay so that's how your life cycle works so let me repeat as soon as you open the activity or as soon as you open the start the activity it will call on create on start on resume back to back when you minimize the activity it will call pause and stop 
when you go back to the activity again by recent apps and then select it will call restart start and resume okay now when you want to close the activity it will call pause stop and destroy so that's how android life cycle works okay now let's say uh, if you there's one more thing if you stop the activity let's say you want to kill so you're using the activity and then suddenly you want to kill your activity or some some other app needs your memory okay at that time again it will kill and then you have to restart the activity example you know uh, when you are minimizing the activity so in your ram you have lots of activities right now because you have minimized it and suddenly you open an app which requires some extra memory in that scenario uh, your os will close down some apps now if you go to recent apps and again you want that app in that case you cannot resume right because your activity is closed then it will go on on create again okay so in that scenario if you if it kills so here somewhere if it kills the activity then you have to again go to on create sounds good so that's how your activity life cycle works so if you have any any doubts any questions you can comment in the comment section and if you have uh, if you have understood everything just like on the uh, just click on the like button there and yeah thanks for watching and do subscribe